I don't know where I'm going, but I sure know where I've been, and here I go again, here I go again, here I go again, on my own. Scotland. Hi, that's where I came from. The sea was rough. From a bairn of four or five, I wanted to come here. The land of my forefathers. Why? I'm not sure. Antrim, rise and fall of it. Ever since I was a bairn of four or five, I watched the smoky headland slip out through the mist. Like raindrops made solid, stirred into the rock and stone by ice cold sea and wind. From the day and hour I heard of Oshin and Finn McCool, wanted to come and meet them. Or their great great grandsons at least. I remember the day I got word, as if it were yesterday. I sure couldn't wait. The most dangerous man in Ireland, or was it Ulster, wanted to make me his wife. Fairer than Taisy said I was. Imagine, the Princess of Rathen having no match for me. He was a great warrior and poet too. Just like Finn or Oshin. Invited me here to Billy. My whole family. For a feast of the like which had never been seen in the four corners of the known world. I am sure there was a lake just here where I am standing now. Where has it gone? It has just up and vanished. Disappeared. I think perhaps I cried it dry. The water must have seeped up in through the soles of my feet and out in tears, then up. My tears evaporated out to make that grey, heavy sky above. Maybe it's these fiends in the grass. The little people of the land. The little people have lived here since the beginning of time. They're hidden in the rocks. In the rushes. Between the long grasses and marshy ground just there. Up ahead. We don't listen to a word they say. They love to scare people passing through. They think that this land is theirs and they own it. Isn't that funny? They still don't know that you can't own this land here. They still don't understand that they're only taking care of it until... Well, that's another story. There's another one. To get married. That's why I'm here. The day I landed. I see it over and over. Every detail. How excited I was and happy. Everything planned to perfection. What I'd wear the first time he saw me. How I would walk, sit, stand. I knew he couldn't love me straight away. But I learned so much. How to fire an arrow. How to sing. I'd make him laugh and dance. Then he would love me. And I was right. I knew it the second he sat beside me. He didn't eat a bite. Neither did I. He sat here to my right. I could see something in his eyes. I'm not sure what, but then he leaned over and he whispered. His voice was commanding and urgent. Go outside now and wait for me by the lake. Go to the Cran Oak. My mother had told me it'd be like this. But so fast, I could hear my heart and my ears down that awful, narrow stairs, out into the cool, cool air. I just got here, to the edge, right here. I could see the warm glow from the cran oak. It must have lit a fire for us. The warm glow, visible inside. Then that awful screaming. 
awful, awful screaming and shouting and people running from the tower. And everyone running and I remember thinking, what have I done? I should have waited. The first pain was in my chest. And then another, and another, and I fell right into the water. How silly of me. My dress ruined, and I must have caught myself, because... I remember the blood mixing with the water and swirling shapes, and then darker and darker until the whole lake was a beautiful, rich red, like a huge, huge bowl of wine. I got out to take a better look, but the blood had disappeared almost immediately. Then a while later, the water it went to just vanished. That was funny because someone had hidden treasure here, under the water, just by that rock over there. Two great chests of Spanish gold, but when the water went, you could see them, clear as fire, just sitting there, little twinkling lights in the mud. But that's long gone too. Now it's just what you see. Reeds and rishes and little puddles peeping through. And me. Still waiting. I know he'll come. He said he would. I hide in the grass when it's bright and listen to the awful tales of the little people. But at night... When it's safe, I come out here where he can see me. So he will find me. <laughs> <laughs>